Hello, hello, Virgo. Welcome back for a reading. This is especially for Virgo, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus signs. And feel free to look in the description for an astrology playlist so you can check all of your other signs. And as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And please take a moment to like and subscribe so that you'll be notified of all of my pick a cards and astrology readings. All right. So Virgo, let's jump right into it. I'm going to use some of the um, Soul's Journey Oracle cards ooh, to find out what kind of some general themes in your life are right now. So first we have freedom. It says, I possess the power and free and the free will, <laughs> excuse me, to create my own happiness. So Virgo, perhaps what I'm sensing is you've had some things going on where you haven't really felt like you are in control and you are making the decisions in your life. It feels like other people have been making them for you and you haven't been being, ooh, that one just jumped right out, your authentic self. Oh, and we got blame that you accept the responsibility for your well-being. So already, Virgo, I'm sensing that you kind of like you're in for a little bit of a metamorphosis here you're in for a little bit of change um perhaps you're blaming yourself and you're blaming yourself for not standing up for yourself sooner or not doing what you want like you're like oh man if i had only started this you know when i first thought of the idea then it would be like a full-blown career like i'm almost something like you you wanted you had an idea for something and you didn't take it and now you're kind of like blaming yourself and wanting that freedom you're feeling a little trapped Ooh, okay and health could be um, mental health or physical health so I wonder if this has been something that's been causing you some turmoil and I always think that those two are not separate mental health and physical health are really intertwined so whatever's going on with you um, I think really kind of taking that blame away and not blaming yourself so much or blaming other people and like trying to figure out what happened and what could have gone better. Um, just looking toward the future for that freedom is really going to be something that helps you out here and helps you in all of your health. And it is going to bring you peace. So this is also a really good affirmation. I love this one. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Sometimes I just need to say this to myself because I don't even realize that I'm holding on to all these things and it is impacting my health mentally and physically. Let's get one more. Just kind of set the stage here. Let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Surrender. All right. We're really getting a theme here. So you can release your need to control. So I think maybe perhaps you're feeling a little bit out of control. You felt like you are not like on the journey that you are supposed to be on. But what I'm really getting is this is the journey that you are supposed to be on. Um, you just had to go through this to understand that it really was for you, if that makes sense. Because sometimes you have to take paths that aren't really like they're not the end game path in order to be able to see what you really want. So I th I'm getting the sense that's kind of what's going on with you. We're also getting justice here, which is very interesting. So I think if there is any blame or anything going on with other people, just know that I always say this with this card, that ca this card just reminds me of a specific situation. Um, and a friend of mine always, always, always gets justice, which is funny is she always gets strength too when it comes to this, but, um, that one just jumped out. So I had to put it down here, but especially with justice, like take the high road and justice will be served. I think sometimes it's easy to want to blame and control and like, I feel like other people are the ones that are like, causing you any issues that you might be having. But I think really having that strength in yourself and knowing that like other people have paths that are meant for them. You have your own path and Ooh, for you, we also have the moon. We're getting a lot of major arcana cards here for you. So what I'm saying is this is going to be a pretty big life shift where like you are just kind of coming into your own and you are going to be able to feel incredibly free and really trust your intuition on this one. Like I think there's something deep down that's been nagging at you that might be causing you kind of this health and freedom um, and blame situation. And I think really trusting your intuition is going to free you from that and let you be able to surrender and have more peace. We're also getting a six of pentacles. So this means that I, a gift is coming your way. This I love this card. It's so funny because they're just like so readily accepting these gifts. So I think that you've been kind of waiting for a long time um, to kind of see some rewards that I think other people in your life have seen more quickly. Um, and 
I do wonder if that could be something that's going to improve your health because you're just going to feel better about everything. And a lot of times, I know I can speak for myself <laughs> when I just kind of surrender to the path that of the universe, even if it's not exactly what I want, um, then I tend to kind of receive the gifts of the universe, which I think that you are once you kind of trust your own intuition and, um, kind of let justice just take its course with those people that maybe hurt you in the past. Oh, we didn't really talk about strength. Um, so strength, I think is something here where you are going to have to find that inner strength and you have, I'm, what I'm getting is that you already have. And if you're thinking right now, you're like, Oh, don't tell me that. Like I've already been so strong for so long. I, I feel that. And I think that you have just become like, you needed to become this person. You needed to, like I said at the beginning, kind of walk down this path in order to understand what your true path is going to be and feel differently about that. Um, we also just got the fool, which is funny because <laughs> the fool really does have to do with surrendering, surrendering yourself and I always look at this card because she's just kind of like pie in the sky, like not really caring what's going on. Like, and in some other tarot versions, she's like falling backward off a cliff, um, and just not really caring what's going on. Like just come what may. And I think that is the hardest thing to do is surrender control and just know that whatever happens is going to happen. You can't blame anyone for it. You can't blame yourself. Oh my goodness. I just fell out. Um, and I think this is going to have, a, like, this is going to come in the shape of a new work opportunity, to be honest. I think you have something that you've been really kind of thinking about or working on. And this is going to be like a new, fresh start for you. That's what I'm getting here. And I think it really does have to do with kind of like work wise. And I'm almost sensing now that we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles that it's going to be something that you have been like wanting and you like maybe didn't think was possible um but it's going to surprise you I think I think it's going to be one of those things where you're like really this is happening for me because I think you maybe have watched other people get what they wanted and you're like oh, when is that ever going to happen for me and like you don't feel free because you're constantly just trying to like keep everything under control and try and be strong and try and make everything happen but I almost wonder if you're like holding too tight like you're clenching your teeth almost like you're biting down and just being like oh I'm like oh my gosh that's so funny that I said this because this just fell out the spark of the hustle so I get the sense that you have really been hustling and like you have been trying to um build everything up for yourself and I think like at this point I think you need to do something that is going to make you really happy like take a day off drive somewhere that you don't know where you're going like do something spontaneous that's going to kind of put you in a different vibration because i get that you're a little bit stuck and i think again it is impacting your health a little bit because you're just like waiting 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 like grinding hustling trying to get this figured out um and i think what this message is telling you is that you need to kind of let go a little bit and that freedom is going to come to you like you will feel so much more at peace your health is going to be um improved mentally and physically if you can just sort of trust in this even though it is like the hardest thing you have ever had to do and you really have been questioning that's also what i'm getting is that you have been questioning um the universe and being like is anything like this message might be something that you almost weren't going to click on but then you're like well I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see what this one has to say. And I hope you've made it this far with me because this one's interesting. It says feed your artist. So again, I think trying to kind of do things that are going to feed your soul and bring you into a vibration. Um, and I think like maybe you thought that you couldn't um, have your art be part of what your work is. Like you just figured like, oh no, I have to go like down the corporate path but now you're sensing that like maybe the corporate path is not really for you <laughs> and you have like you're a little bit too like woo woo deep down inside to do this corporate thing and it feels a little bit inauthentic um cozy up with risk this one is very interesting so I think this one kind of goes with the fool almost and surrendering where you're going to have to just take some risks in order to have that freedom that you desire and I think the more risks you can take the scarier it is but it gets easier every time you take a risk and then it doesn't feel so crazy um, after you've done it a few different times, you know? 
Oh my gosh, I love this one. This is one of my favorite cards. You are magic. And what's funny is this is the number one card. So this is like almost the very beginning of this deck. And I just love the color of this too. So I'm just, I'm wondering, you've got a few of this like purple blue theme, and then you've also got quite a bit of like yellow and orange. So this is like an interesting, um, like you've got kind of a duality in colors here. Um, we're kind of working through, you've got like a rainbow. <laughs> you just have so many colors. Sometimes I have ones that are like all one color and that's always funny, but maybe even comment what, if you're this far in the video, comment what your favorite color is. I'd be interested to see if there's a theme between all of our Virgo viewers. So anyway, know that you are magic and you, I think again, need to trust your intuition a little bit more in order to receive some gifts from the universe. And I think this also does have to go with kind of feeding your artist. Again, I think you've kind of been pushed into this narrative that maybe wasn't yours. It wasn't your narrative. Ooh, this is interesting. These two came out together. So we've got find your sacred flow and we have follow through. And they both have kind of this interesting spiral pattern, 12 and 23. If either of those numbers mean anything to you. Um, I almost sense that you have been down this path before. Like you have tried many different things and you've tried like the quote unquote like artist path and maybe it hasn't worked out and you've been like, well, see, exactly. Like art isn't going to get you anywhere. But that's part of what spirit does is it will test you and it will send you the same challenges over and over again to see if you react differently the next time. So I would say follow your heart, follow through this time and like find your flow. I think like you kind of, I don't want to say like half-assed it. <laughs> that sounds really bad. I don't think you half-assed it last time, but I think maybe you didn't give it like your full go. And I'm wondering if like it just wasn't meant to be because you had to kind of walk down the path that other people were kind of telling you to walk down um, in order to find what you truly want and who you like who you were meant to be this is so interesting when these all come out and they're like they're the same so surrender and surrender so this is so funny because full moon is kind of like things are going to come to fruition so this time like it's going to work out it's going to work out i'm not saying it's and you've also got the moon and full moon um i'm not saying it's going to be easy i think you're definitely gonna have to have strength there and actually i'm almost wondering if like someone hurt you last time you tried this like they came after you when you tried to do something and they just treated you terribly and i wonder if that's why you kind of turned your back on it and I think that is true. I think that this has been your time of healing, trying this other path. And now it's time to, after you have healed, kind of just try this again. This is so interesting. Oop, what do we have? We have, ooh, what do you need to release? So what do you need to release in order to be able to heal? That one is quite interesting. And then we also have communication is key. We've got some Gemini energy there. And then we also have a time to give rather than take. So I think this is again with the creation energy, new moon in Virgo, just for you. Um, I think that what that one means, that one is a little bit of a weird interpretation at times, but I think what that one is telling you is that it's just like, you're ready. You're ready to give to the universe and you are ready for people to accept what you have to offer this time. Let me check the Celtic tarot. This one is like, I just want to show you. This is like such a beautiful green. This one's a new deck. And I've gotten a couple of people asking me to do an updated deck haul because I've gotten quite a few new ones <laughs> um, since I did my last haul. But I'll also link the other one below in case you're interested. Um, this one's interesting. I'm sensing you might see fours a lot. Um, and this one is the maiden. So innocent love, innocence, love, and past. And we'll get to a love reading in here just a in a second, by the way. But I think, again, this does have to do with your past and like people who hurt you, things that did not go the way that you wanted them to go. Um, and just being able to kind of like get that innocence and like that childlike love back for whatever you were doing. Um, and this one says beginnings, willingness, and opportunities. And it's funny that we have three and four, even though they were shuffled. Um, the art on these ones is like, is so unique and interesting with the Celtic tarot. Um, but beginnings. So again, we're kind of, I think you're, and again, you had the fool down there. It's like, you're restarting a new cycle and you're going to have more opportunities coming your way. Once you kind of surrender to this new narrative that is coming your way. Uh, ooh, we also have two, two. This one's interesting. So wisdom, power, and transformation. So I think you are on this path yet again. We're just getting so many messages here where you were having to kind of become this new person 
through some struggle. You have had some struggle. You've been through a lot. Um, and then we have hidden courage and camouflage. So I think maybe you've kind of been like kind of hiding away. Like you're just, you're making it through, but you're not really like, I don't know. You're not thriving. You're not doing what you imagine you'd be doing. And I think it's getting a little mundane for you. Let's do some love cards. Cause I always like to kind of finish these off with a little bit of a love reading. Cause I feel like we, this one was a little bit about work. So let's get some love cards and I'm not going to do, um, I am going to do actually a love reading very soon for singles and, um, relationships, but let's go ahead and we'll just kind of do both interpretations from these cards. All right. So first we've got give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So this, I am sensing there's been a little bit of a strain because I think that you have not been your best self due to not feeling kind of fulfilled in your work life. And I think that might be taking a strain on your, or creating some sort of strain on your relationship. I'm also sensing that they are kind of going through something similar to what you're doing. So it's like you're leaning on each other, but it's like different yet similar. Also, I just saw five, five, five on the camera. If you're seeing fives a lot, comment below and let me know. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's interesting. Forgiving and learning. I haven't gotten this one in quite a while. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So again, I think even if you've been hurt in the past, you've wanted some justice for people who have hurt, who have hurt you. Um, just forgiving and learning and knowing that that was a learning experience. It wasn't meant to be something that caused you extreme pain, even though I'm sure that it did. Because Virgos, I know that you truly have like that inner, inner empath self and you don't let just anybody in. And when you do, it's a big deal. And I know that you want to kind of get to know each other. So, um, what I would say is if you are just kind of getting to know someone right now, I think that just take that time to really get to know them. Cause I'm wondering if you rushed into something in the past relationship wise that may have hurt you. Um, or if you are in a relationship with someone, I think what this is revealing is that you are going to be kind of getting to know each other in a deeper way, kind of helping each other out and really increasing your partnership in a really deep way. And I think again, down here, I'm seeing, I just happened to look down and see communication is key. I think don't hold things back from them. Like it's hard to explain things to people because they'll never experience things the way that we do. Um, this is funny. It's hard to trust people. Um, but have faith that this person will understand better than you think that they will. Okay. That whoever this is, like there is a person, if you're single, there is a person out there that you are going to be able to trust, um, and get to know and really give a chance to. And if you are with someone, I think that it's only going to be deepening your relationship as long as you can communicate. Okay. Let's see. I love this one. Let your friends help you. So always just kind of, again, I know relationships are often like the center of people's lives and you really like obviously invest a lot in your significant other, but I think talking to your friends and letting them help you. And I think sometimes you're someone who finds it hard to ask for help, but really like let your friends be there for you. And even if you're thinking to yourself, um, what are they even going to do for me? Just go hang out with them. Go have dinner. I'm sensing that you might just need some friend time and it's really going to be healing for your soul. And you're going to get to have some heart to heart conversations with your significant other and with your friends as well. All right. Let's see if, let, let's see, which deck have we not used? I'm sensing let's do some ink and intuition. These are like the tarot cards that have tattoo, um, meanings on them. Like they're just such beautiful artwork. Oh, we have the tower right there. So yeah, you may have experienced something or you're about to experience something that's going to change your life. And the tower one can, tower moments can always be scary, but I think that if we look at it from a positive, that things are meant to happen the way they're meant to happen. It is what it is. Um, let's see what we've got here. Okay. So interesting. You are going to have, I think, some last messages here that things like you've been worried about some inspiration in what's going to happen here. Like, am I going to be able to sustain this? And is this going to be something that is going to be helping me? And am I going to be successful at work with this? And the answer is yes. Like this is your inspiration is going to become your new idea. And you've got five, five. I think I also mentioned five, five earlier. So if you see five, five a lot, give us a like, give us a comment. Um, 
and let me know what you're thinking or if you when you see five five like that's something that's been happening to you um we also have the ten of coins so you are going to be incredibly successful with this like this is going to be your your new job and i have a feeling that this is going to be something like you couldn't even have dreamed of um so i think you're going to be incredibly successful in your new venture and i can't wait to find out what it is so virgo thanks for letting me do this reading today please subscribe and please like this video so that you will help me to reach more Virgos to get this reading because I have a sense that there are quite a few of you out there who are going through similar things and you'll be able to kind of interpret it. And then also I have more pick of cards and love readings coming out soon. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So thanks so much Virgo. I will see you later.